The National Security Guard (NSG) is an Indian Special Forces unit under the Ministry of Home Affairs (MHA). It was raised in 1984 following Operation Blue Star and the assassination of Indira Gandhi for combating terrorist activities with a view to protect states against internal disturbances. NSG is under the authority of Ministry of Home Affairs. However, it is not categorized under the uniform nomenclature of Central Armed Police Forces. It has a special forces mandate, and its core operational capability is provided by the Special Action Group SAG, which is drawn from the Indian Army. The Special Rangers Group SRG, the police component of NSG, which also handles VIP security, is composed of personnel on deputation from other Central Armed Police Forces and State Police Forces. The NSG personnel are often referred to in the media as Black Cats because of the black outfit and black cat insignia worn on their uniform. Mission The National Security Guard was set up in 1984 as a federal contingency deployment force to tackle all facets of terrorism in the country. As a specialized counter-terrorism force, it is intended for use only in exceptional situations and not meant to take over the functions of the state police forces or other paramilitary forces. Yet, over the years its role has vastly expanded to provide personal security to influential politicians quite independent of the real threat that they face. The NSG is trained to conduct counter-terrorist tasks to including counter-hijacking tasks on land, sea, and air, bomb disposal search, detection and neutralization of IEDs PBI post-blast investigation and hostage rescue missions. Directors General. The head of NSG, designated as Director General DG, is selected by the MHA Home Minister. Since its raising in 1984, the NSG has had 28 DGs, in 31 years, with an average tenure one year and few months. Many have served as DG just for few months, while waiting for promotion or a more desirable post. None of the DGs has had experience of commanding NSG special actions groups, or any other special forces command experience. All the selected DGs have been officer from Indian Police Service IPS. As per the government policy, NSG is to be headed by an officer from IPS. Since the combat units under the NSG, which conduct counter-terror operations are commanded by the army officers, this effectively negates the possibility of any officer with field experience in counter-terror operations heading the organization as its DG at a later stage. Organization <laughs> 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 According to the NSG website it is modeled on Germany's GSG-9 Grenschutzgruppe 9 or Border Guard Group 9. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Headquarters. Topic: At Maram Nagar, Palam Administration The Director General is assisted by four Indian Police Service officers for administrative matters of whom two are Inspectors General each for Administration and Headquarters HQ, who in turn are assisted by Deputy Inspectors General. The Financial Advisor of the NSG has been an Indian Revenue Service IRS officer of the rank of Joint Secretary and also has DI advisors from the Indian Audit and Accounts Service and Indian Civil Account Service. At Manasar, Operation and Training – Operations and Training is under senior army officers on deputation to NSG. A Major General of Indian Army, on deputation, designated as Inspector General operations, is responsible for planning and conduct of operations. Training is under another Major General training, located in Manasar, Gurgaon. They are further assisted by two brigadiers on deputation from Indian Army as DIG operations and DIG training. Another brigadier from Army usually from Indian Army Corps of Signals is deputed as DIG communication to look after communication systems of the force. The strength of the NSG is estimated to be about 7,000 plus personnel. Air transport to support NSG is located at Indira Gandhi Airport. Topic Special Action Group SAG topic The SAG is the main offensive or the strike wing of the NSG. Its members are drawn exclusively from the Indian Army. 
The SAGS includes headquarters, support units, and training wing. The training of both the Action and Ranger Group is conducted by the officers and NCOs drawn from the Army. There are two SAGs 51 Special Action Group and 52 Special Action Group. The two SAGs 51 and 52 are tasked for counter-terror and counter-hijack operations respectively. The smallest operation sub-unit of the SAG is called HIT, usually commanded by an NCO. A HIT has five members, two pairs, or buddies, and a technical support member. Four HITs make a team. A team is commanded by a captain. In hostage rescue operations, depending on the situation, team size may vary between 50 and 90 NSG personnel. For immediate transport airlift IL-76MD strategic transport aircraft are stationed at New Delhi's Palam Air Force Station and are ready to deploy within 30 minutes. Each SAG is headed by an officer of rank Colonel of Indian Army on deputation as Group Commander Topic Special Ranger Group SRG Topic NSG has three SRGs, each with a strength of battalion, approximately total 900 all ranks. SRG personnel are drawn on deputation from Central Armed Police Forces and State Police Forces. There are three SRGs 11, 12 and 13. Initially SRG's mandate was to render logistical support to the SAGs during operations and are deployed for guarding high-risk VIPs, VVIPs. However, since 2013, 1 1 SRG is converted into a regular SAG unit for undertaking specific counter-terror operations. Each SRG is headed by an officer of rank commandant as group commander under deputation from CAPF's Topic Special Composite Group SCG Topic NSG has set five regional hubs under regional deployment. SCG consists of personnel both from Army and CAPF's for counter-terror operations within their area of responsibility. Each SCG is headed by an officer of rank colonel of Indian Army on deputation as group commander. Five regional hubs are 26 SCG Mumbai 27 SCG Chennai 28 SCG Hyderabad 29 SCG Kolkata 30 SCG Gandhinagar Topic National Bomb Data Center Topic The National Bomb Data Center NBDC established in the year 1988 and further its role redefined in the year 2000. NBDC was assigned role of monitoring, recording and analyzing all bombing incidents in the country. It also records and analyses various bombing incidents across the world to gain expertise knowledge in bombing and related incidents and effectively counter such and share with relevant security agencies. All national security agencies which rely on NBDC for assistance in bombing incidents and related knowledge have high regards for its working culture. At present NBDC Act as a nodal agency for all bombing related facets in the country. It is headed by a Colonel of Indian Army Corps of Engineers on deputation, designated as Director NBDC. National Bomb Data Center primarily consists of personnel and officers from Indian Army Corps of Engineers who are combat engineers along with personnel and officers from Central Armed Police Forces with bombing-related expertise knowledge. Regional deployment Topic. In response to criticism of the time taken by NSG units to arrive in November 2008 Mumbai attacks, from their base in Manasar, Haryana, the MHA decided to deploy NSG contingents in major cities across India like Mumbai, Kolkata, 462 personnel, Hyderabad and Chennai. Hyderabad will also serve as a regional centre in the future. With the Ministry of Home Affairs MHA giving its nod and sanctioning 533.68 crore rupees a few months ago, the National Security Guard NSG officials are gearing up to set up the Southern Regional Center SRC at Ibrahimputnam, Hyderabad for training commandos. With the state government also handing over 600 acres at Ibrahimputnam, the SRC is likely to be ready by next year. Tender notices have already been issued for civil works, which would be overseen by the Central Public Works Department. With this, Hyderabad would have an NSG hub at Trimulgari as well as the SRC for training. Black Cats. As of now, nearly 300 commandos, ready for anti-terror operations round the clock, are stationed at the NSG hub at Trimulgari. Similar hubs are in place in Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. The proposal to set up a state-of-the-art NSG training center at Ibrahimputnam on the lines of NSG Manasar training center has been pending for over three years. 
but the MHA officials, in their annual report released recently, announced the release of funds for developing infrastructure. Post the 2611th Mumbai terror strike, four regional hubs of NSG were operationalized in Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai and Kolkata to reduce reaction time. A regional center at Hyderabad is also being raised, for which 600 acres of land has been acquired. MHA has conveyed sanction of 533.68 crore rupees towards the construction of this southern regional center, NSG at Ibrahim Putnam. The MHA report said. With this, the state would have two trained anti terror striking forces. Besides the NSG, the Andhra Pradesh Police's Octopus, which also has a training facility at Ibrahim Putnam, has a strength of over 250 personnel. NSG and Octopus personnel, who undergo a grueling training, including handling sophisticated weapons, commandos are sent back to their parent department once they attain the age of 35, ensuring that the force remains young and fighting fit. Topic. Rank structure and designation Topic. The ranks in NSG are roughly on the pattern of the police and the CAPF, as follows. Officers I Director General, Lieutenant General E Additional Director General, Lieutenant General E Inspector General, Major General IV Deputy Inspector General, Brigadier V Group Commander, Colonel V Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel V Team Commander, Major, Capt Assistant Commanders JCOs V Assistant Commander Grade I Subadar Major X Assistant Commander Grade II Subadar X Assistant Commander Grade III NAIB Subadar Persons other than officers and assistant commanders She Ranger Grade I XII Ranger Grade II XIII Combatist Tradesman Topic History The NSG was established in the wake of 1984 Operation Blue Star, and the high collateral damage to Golden Temple, and civilian and military collateral casualties. Since its raising the NSG has been used in the Punjab in 1986, and Jammu and Kashmir. Some of the NSG's known operations include 29–30 April 1986, about 300 NSG commandos and 700 border security force troops stormed the Golden Temple in Operation Black Thunder I. The temple was cleared and handed over to Punjab police on 1 May 1986. 300 Sikh militants were captured, and there were no deaths or injuries for either side. January 1988, the NSG conducted Op Black Hawk, a heliborne operation in the Mond area of Punjab. In this operation two terrorists were killed and one 7.62 mm was recovered. It was a massive operation, says former NSG Director General Ved Marwa, though it did not get many spectacular results like in Black Thunder, 12 May 1988-1000 NSG commandos all ranks surrounded the Golden Temple for yet another assault. In Operation Black Thunder 2, sniper teams armed with Heckler and Koch PSG-1 rifles with night scope took up positions, including atop a 300-foot water tower. While commandos from the 51 SAG divided into assault squadrons, the SRG were used to seal off the area around the temple and for tactical support. In the three-day operation between 15–18 May 1988, the NSG cleared the temple. Forty terrorists were killed, and 200 surrendered. In the mid-1990s, a NSG battalion was again deployed in Punjab to confront the Sikh rioters. There they began training the Punjab police in counter-terrorism. 5 September to 15 January 1988, guarding of high-risk terrorist code named Jack, 4 August 1989, Operation Mouse Trap in the Tarn Taran district of Punjab, in conjunction with Punjab police and other security forces. NSG was able to demonstrate that it was possible to achieve area dominance at night, if the strategy and tactics were right. Ved Marwa calls this Operation Night Dominance. The 10th of November 1990, NSG task force flown to Kolkata to rescue hostages of a Thai Airbus by Burmese students. 25 to 26 January 1991, the NSG was involved in Operation Ani Ben on sea tasks in Baroda, Gujarat, where Punjab terrorists were holed up inside a house. 
Two terrorists were killed and two AK-47s were recovered. The 1st of July to the 20th of September 1991, NSG employed along with SIT in search and strike missions after the assassination of Rajiv Gandhi. The 25th of November to the 16th of December 1992 to 150 commandos were deployed at Ayodhya during the Ram Janambhumi and Babri Masjid crisis. The 27th of March 1993 to 52 SAG mobilized and moved to Adampur for rescue of hostages of Indian Airlines flight IC 486. 24 to 25 April 1993 NSG commandos storm a hijacked Indian Airlines Boeing 737 with 141 passengers on board at Amritsar Airport during Operation Ashwamed. Two hijackers, including their leader, Muhammad Yusuf Shah, are killed and one is disarmed before. No hostages are harmed. October 1998, as part of the implementation of the Union Home Ministry's decision to conduct pro-active strikes against militants, commando teams supported by IAF Mi-25 35th's helicopter gun ships began striking at terrorist groups deep inside the mountains and forests of Kashmir. After helicopter reconnaissance were conducted to pinpoint the militants, the commandos, comprising NSG and Rashtriya Rifles personnel, were para-dropped, along with supplies, into the area to hunt the militants. They had to rely on these supplies and their ability to live off the land until replenishment every fortnight or so. These missions are possibly ongoing. The 15th of July 1999, NSG commandos end a 30-hour standoff by killing two terrorists and rescuing all 12 hostages unharmed in J&K. The terrorists had attacked a BSF campus near Srinagar, killed three officers and the wife of another. The 12 hostages were kept locked in a room. The 21st of August 1999, after interrogating three captured terrorists, the Delhi Police Crime Branch confirmed that two more terrorists were hiding in a one-storied house in Rudrapur, Uttar Pradesh. Since the terrorists were considered armed and dangerous, their colleagues were arrested with 100 plus pounds of RDX. The Delhi Police sought assistance from the NSG. A 16-man team arrived at the house at 4:45 a.m. They began their assault at 5:30 a.m. before first light. The first militant managed to fire at the commandos with a pistol he kept by his bedside, but was killed an instant later. The second terrorist was shot before he had a chance to fire and died 40 minutes later. No NSG personnel were injured. December 1999, terrorists hijacked Indian Airlines flight IC-814 from Nepal, and landed in Amritsar, Punjab. Within minutes of landing, the Crisis Management Group CMG, which authorized the use of the NSG, was informed. But the CMG wasted precious hours and by the time the go-ahead was issued, it is too late. On the other hand, the NSG team on alert was elsewhere and no other team was raised during the delay. The hijacked plane took off before the NSG reached Amritsar Airport. The plane landed in Kandahar, Afghanistan where one hostage was killed. Finally, the Indian government agrees to the terrorists' demands to release three jailed terrorists. The hostages are released and the terrorists escape to Pakistan. February 2000, following the flight IC-814 fiasco, the Indian government decided to implement an air marshal program. At least two NSG operators will be present on flights over select routes. These operators will be armed with weapons firing lethal, but low velocity, fragmentation rounds to minimize danger to the passengers and prevent penetration of the aircraft. Another decision taken was to deploy NSG teams permanently at eight sensitive airports around the country, especially those bordering Pakistan and the Northeast. This decision will cut short reaction times for the NSG and eliminate hassles involved in flying the teams to the hijack site. It is not known if this plan has been put into action. September 2002 SAG commandos fly to the Karnataka state in India, in an effort to catch sandalwood smuggler and forest brigand Virapan, in the wake of kidnapping of a former minister of the state cabinet, Nagapa. They pull out after suggesting that intelligence for the operation was inadequate. A small team is left behind to help, the hostage is eventually killed in December 2002. October 2002 two terrorists attack Akshardham temple complex in Gujarat. NSG flies in, delayed by traffic in Delhi. They carry out assaults in which one commando was martyred and another one is seriously injured and was in a coma, passed away after 18 months. But by morning the two terrorists are killed and the operation successfully completed. December 2002 terrorists attack the Raghunath Temple in Jammu. 
NSG ready to be flown out but called back at the last minute. The 26 November 2008 Mumbai attacks, Operation Black Tornado and Operation Cyclone to flush out terrorists and rescue hostages after multiple attacks across Mumbai, India. Major Sandeep Unakrishnan and Havaldar Gajinder Singh Bisht of the Special Action Group lost their lives during the operations, over 900 rooms were scanned, nine terrorists killed and over 600 hostages rescued during the operation. 2013 Hyderabad blasts, deployed in Hyderabad after the bomb blasts. 2013 Bangalore bomb blast, NSG was deployed in Bangalore after the bomb blast took place in the city. 2013 Patna bombings, a team of the NSG, which was sent to Patna for post-blasts analysis, said at least three more improvised explosive devices IEDs were diffused. 2016 Pathankot attack, an NSG team took part in the operation to neutralize terrorists where Lt. Col. Niranjan lost his life defusing a grenade or IED booby trapped on the body of a dead terrorist, and 12 other members of the unit were injured. Six terrorists were neutralized in the operation by the NSG, Defense Security Corps and the Garrod Commando Force Topic Selection and training Topic Selection is demanding and has a dropout rate of about 70-80%. Three of their 14 months of training in Manasar, Haryana, are devoted to the basics. The basic training period lasts 90 days. Physical fitness training has 26 elements, ranging from a cross-country obstacle course to jumping from heights and across divides and scaling different kinds terrain. One endurance test involves martial arts, target shooting at the end of an obstacle-ridden cross-country run. This is meant to gauge the candidate's performance under conditions of stress and exhaustion. Those who successfully complete the tests are sent for nine months of advanced training. Topic equipment Topic Glock knife Glock 17 9mm semi-automatic pistol Heckler and Coke MP5A3, A5, SD3, SD6, K 9mm submachine gun SIG SG551 SB, SG553 LB, SG553 SB 5.56mm NATO carbine Beretta SC7090 its 5.56mm NATO assault rifle FN SCAR L 5.56mm NATO Assault Rifle M16A1 5.56mm NATO Assault Rifle AKMS 7.62 x 39mm Assault Rifle Heckler & Koch PSG 17.62 mm NATO Semi-Automatic Sniper Rifle SIG Sauer SSG 3000 7.62mm NATO Bolt Action Sniper Rifle Barrett M98B.338 Lapua Magnum Bolt Action Sniper Rifle Franke Spas 1512 Gauge Combat Shotgun EMI Neg Gev 5.56 mm NATO light machine gun FN Minimi 7.62 TR7. 62 mm NATO light machine gun Corner shot Taser Advanced audio communication set GPS and GPRS technological systems Wall surveillance radars Night vision devices Protective goggles Thermal imaging cameras Mini remotely operated vehicle Ghillie suit Combat helmet with built-in hands-free communication sets Bulletproof vest level 3 NIJ Knee pad and elbow pads Chartered helicopters and ability to operate civilian aircraft for emergencies Renault Sherpa 2 APC See also Topic. Special Forces of India Paramilitary Forces of India Central Armed Police Forces Special Protection Group Topic. References Topic.